This is very very important. So put it in your memory. And apply it to your life. Now the Bible says all have sinned. And fall short of the glory of God. All have sinned. That is why people yell at each other. That is why people get angry. That is why people are, are unhappy. Have you noticed? No, have you noticed sinners around you? No, have you noticed sinners around you? Have you noticed there are sinners around you? If you have noticed sinners around you, please raise your hand. I guess some of you are not used to answering questions. Now one way, if you want to go higher, to be used by God one thing to learn is to have courage and another thing is to be able to verbalize yourself if, if you don't verbalize yourself you cannot do much for God so I hope you learn to have courage let me ask you are the people around you perfect are they perfect? no have you noticed sinners around you? do they have sin? yes yes okay very good now you answer the question <laughs> Do they sometimes get angry? Yes. Do they sometimes make you unhappy? Do they sometimes make you unhappy? Yes. Sometimes it's hard to reason with them, right? Yes. And then you feel unhappy. Has it happened to you? Yes. Uh, so if you are like that, it's hard to have joy all the time, right? Okay, let me tell you what happened to me. After I experienced the Holy Spirit, one day I cried to God, Lord Jesus, and I felt power go through me. Power go through me. I said that is wonderful. I cried to Jesus, I can feel his response. I cry again, Jesus. The power went through me again. And later, whenever I cry to Jesus, there is joy. Jesus, ha, 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 ha. and the joy will come out. Na frawe, na toka. So every day, Hila I kept praising God, Lazima una mtukuza mungu. and the joy of the Lord keep coming to me. Na fraya mungu I really enjoyed it. Na, dipa, na fraya hivyo. And one day I call up someone. Siku moja, haka mtu. I told her my experience. Haka mwamilia uzoefu wake. But this person was not happy about it. She doesn't accept the work of the Holy Spirit. And she was angry that now I've entered into this a movement of the Holy Spirit. And she was angry. And then we hang up the phone. And then I pray. I found that I did not have joy. When I pray, Jesus, yes. I didn't find joy. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me. I need to take care of this problem. Now I haven't done anything wrong. So I cannot say I, it's wrong for me to share with you. But I call her up. I call her up and said, "If I made you unhappy, I'm sorry for that." Now, I, it was not wrong. 
Alikuwa mana makosa lolo. But if I made her unhappy, lakini alijikuta kwamba amefanya sio na furaha. I'm sorry for that. Akamwambia samani. Now she was still angry. Bado alikuwa na hasira. But after I hang up the phone, baada ya kukata ile simu, I said I already did done my part. Akasema mimi nimemaliza kazi yangu. I'm going to let go. Akasema na iwe sasa. I'll just go put down the burdens. Kaweka haya kama ametoa mizigo zake chini. I love God. Na kampenda Mungu. And God is loving me. Na Mungu akaendea kumpenda. And the joy of the Lord came back to me. Na furaha aliyokuwa amepoteza ikarudi tena. Amen. And God gave me this thought. Na Mungu akampa wazo hili. From now on. Kuanzia sasa. When anyone mistreats you. Wakati mtu asipokutendea wema. Take care of it right away. Wewe chukua tu acha nena hiyo. So you can keep the joy. Ili uendelee kuwa na furaha. Now the key to that the key to that, the key, the the keys that you know the, the the way to solve the problem is don't eat garbage. Do you eat garbage? Do you like to eat garbage? You like to eat garbage? Unapenda kula uchafu? Tumesema tu wasiwe kwa mkono. Unapenda kula uchafu? Hey, like that. The negative words of people are garbage. Mawazo machafu ya wanadam utaka. The people are not garbage. What you see utaka. But the negative words are garbage. Lakini maneno ya machafu utaka. Is it true? Ni kweli. When people say you're useless, watu anaposema wewe ni waovyo. Is this word good or not? Eti ayo maneno ya nafraisha ya wa yapani. They are not. They are not good. Right. So if they say you are useless, wakisema wao ufai, do you want to take that word? Kwa unaitaji kasa utembe tu kwa mafulana mnyambia mimi sifai. And you say I'm useless. Na usinatendo na sema ani ni niwaofio tu. Do you want to say that? Nataka wende kusema hivyo. Do you want to take it? No. Do you need to take it? Unaitaji uchukua maneno hai. We don't need to take it. Hatu itaji tu yatukutembe nani. But most people take it. Lakini watu wengi wameathiriwa na maneno ya hivyo. Most people are affected by people. Watu wengi wameathiriwa na watu waliowazunguka. Now in Psalm 118 verse 6. Zaburi 1 Psalm 118 verse 6. Zaburi 1:18 mstari wa Okay. Now this verse it says something like this. Stari muna sema hivi, kitu kama hivi. If God is for us, kama Mungu ni wetu, who can be against us? Nani anaweza kuwa kinyume nasi? I don't need to be afraid of people. Sihitaji kumwogopa mtu yoyote. Okay, if God is for us, kama Mungu kwa ajili yetu, God helps us. Mungu anatusaidia. What can people do to me? Watu wanaweza kumfanya nini? Let me ask you. Who is greater, God or people? Nani mkubwa? Mungu au wanadamu? God. So God's word says, I love you. Neno la Mungu linasema ninakupenda. You are precious. Wewe ni wasamani. You are important. Wewe ni muhimu. You can do great things for me. Unaweza ukafanya mambo makubwa kwangu. But people's words sometimes they say you are useless. Wakati mwingine wanasema wewe ni waovyo ufai. I don't like you. Wala sikupendi. Now do we have to be affected by these words? Je, tuweze kuathiriwa na maneno ya wanadamu? But people are still affected by these words, right? Lakini watu wengi bado wanaathiriwa na maneno kama haya. Is it true? If it's Are you affected when people said that to you? Na wewe pia jeu umesha atiluwa na maneno kama ya watu wanapo kusema kwa kiasi? Are you affected? Mbo unaathiriwa? When someone yell at you, and then you feel that I'm happy. Kwa mba wei wa ovyo. Has it happened to you? Imesha fajika kwa ko? Yes. Everyone has. Kila moja, amesha pitia hali ya hivyo. Yes. The key point is, Kitu cha msingi ni, To believe that, Ukiamini hayo God helps me. Amini kwamba Mungu ananipenda. People cannot harm me. Watu hawezi kuniathiri. God will protect me. Mungu utanitetea. It doesn't matter what they say. Haijalishi maneno wanayosema. What they say has no authority. Wanayosema hayana mamlaka juu yangu. So what they say wanachosema will stay in the air for how long? They say you are foolish. How long will stay in the air? Wanachosema mtu akisema kwamba wewe ni mpumbavu, hayo maneno yatabaki wewe ni mdagani. 
How long we stay in the air? Eti anabaki muda gani? Wewe mjinga anabaki wapi? Amana. Less than one second, right? Mama ni sekunde moja tu biashara imefanya nini? Imeisha. After that is gone, right? Baada ya hapo yale maneno yametoka hayatarudi tena. But people like to catch it. Lakini sasa shida ni kwamba wewe amesema wewe unaendelea kuyang'ang'ania na kuyakamata. Unayarudisha. He said I'm foolish. Amesema mimi mpumbavu. And I'm not foolish. Wewe kabisa mimi mpumbavu. Why did the person say to me? Why did you to me say my I'm not foolish. Mimi sio mpumbavu. And then you fight back. Nasa unahitaji. I'm not foolish. Don't say that to me. Usisi usiwahi kuniambia mambo kama yale. Do people do that? Watu wanafanya hivyo? Because you are not foolish. Kwa sababu wewe sio mpumbavu. Because you are not foolish. Kwa sababu wewe Because we take people's words seriously. Kwa sababu tunachukua maneno ya watu na tutayafanyia kazi. But we don't take God's word seriously. Lakini hatutaki neno la Mungu. God's word is He loves us. We are special. No one can take away His blessings. Now people's words sometimes are good. Maneno ya watu wakati mingine ni mazuri. Take the good words. Chukua maneno mazuri. Sometimes, sometimes they are not good. Wakati mingine siyo mazuri. Do you want to take it? Unataka chukua mabaya? The key is. Kwa ni hi. Discern the bad words. Kata maneno mabaya. And don't take it. Na usia chukue kama. Alleluia. Now it seems very simple. Ilone kana ni jambo ni pesi tu. But why can people do that? Lakini kwa nini watu wazi kufanya hivyo? Because people say it's unfair. Kwa sababu watu watasema haifai kabisa. They talk to me like that. Amesema ameniambia hivi fulani. It's unfair. Gani haiwezekani bwana? I'm unhappy. Mimi sina furaha na yeye. I want to fight back. Nikimwona ataniona. Has it happened to you? Umechafanyika kwako hivyo? Because we feel it's unfair. Kwa sababu tunahisi kwamba sio vizuri. The more we feel it's unfair. Tunavyoendelea kuhisi kwamba sio vizuri. The more unhappy we will be. Hivyo tutaendelea kutokuwa na furaha. But if you say it doesn't matter. Lakini ukisema hayo mambo ni yako tu. What he said doesn't matter. Hayo aliyoyasema mimi wala yanihusu kabisa. No matter what he said. Hayo aliyoyasema it just go away. Yake peruka yaende. Amen. There's no authority. Wala yana haya ni athari. Because God's word said I'm special. Kwa sababu neno la Mungu linasema wewe ni wa thamani. When I follow God and love God, kifata Mungu na kumpenda Mungu. God is a wonderful plan in my life. Mungu ana mpango wa ajabu juu ya maisha yako. No one can take away the one who Hakuna anayeweza kutoa mpango wa Mungu ndani yako. So I'm special. Kwa utabakia kuwa mtu maalum sana. I don't have to be affected by that. Wala utaathiriwa na maneno ya wanadamu. At the same time I have compassion on God. Wakati wa huo uwe na upendo na yule mtu. People get angry easily. Watu ambao wanachukia kwa haraka because they've been hurt by people. Kwa sababu wameumizwa na watu. You know many people who yell at people because they have been yelled at many times. Unajua watu wengi wanaopenda kutukana watu nao walitukana. Amen. So they have the habit of yelling at people. Kwa ile tabia imejengeka ndani yao. Actually they have a miserable life. Kwa kweli wana maisha ya masikitiko sana. So we can have compassion on them. Mtu hawezi tunahitaji kuwa na tunahitaji kuwa na tunahitaji tuende na msamaha kwao. And then Care about them. And bless them. And forgive them. Now this is the key. Not to be affected by them. But have compassion on them. And forgive them. And bless them. Then you have victory. Hallelujah. Now and let me tell you, this teaching is very simple. God gave this teaching to me. It's very simple. If you are willing to do it, if you treasure God, and treasure life, and say anger will destroy my life. Anger is destructive. Asira ni mbaya. Sadness is destructive. I don't want to eat garbage. Do you want to eat garbage? I want to use another illustration. Someone has a part of dung, you know. Oh. And then he pours it at you. Alafu bati nzuri wakati unapita yale mavi ya ngombe yaliyochanganywa na maji akakumwagia. What would you do? Unafanyaje? 
You say, I want it, I want it, I want it. You don't want it, right? You will run away, right? You will run away, right? You will run away, right? Okay, now, being angry, that means you sin. Ukiwa na asira, hapo umetenda zambi. Yeah, natural, it's natural to be angry. Yani ni kawaita kabisa mtu kukasirika. But to be angry, we lose our joy. Lakini unapo kasirika, unapoteza frani. You want to follow God's perfect plan. Nataka kufata mpango wa mungu jyo kwa siku ya lewe. Let me tell you. Oja ni kwambi. I want to follow God's perfect plan. Nataka nifate mpango wa mungu na jyo. When I follow God's perfect plan. Napo fata mpango wa kina biju ya mungu. I stay in joy all the time. Inaenderea ni kifrai ya nyakati hadi nyakati. Then nothing can take away my joy. Mwa kuna kitu kitaka chweza kwa unwa frai ya mungu. And I can live in the joy of the Lord. Na weza ni kaishi katika upi. And then God will speak to me more. And I will have a stronger presence of God. So I don't want anger to take away God's perfect plan. Let me ask you, do you want anger to take away God's perfect plan? Do you want anger to take away God's perfect plan? They say no. Okay, that's wonderful. So if someone pours tongue at you, do you want it? Do you want to eat 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 it? You run away, right? You run away, right? And then when you go home, when you go home, now. If the tongue gets onto you, what will you do at home? You wash it, right? But someone, he goes home and he smells it. It's terrible. It smells bad. And he did not wash himself. The next morning, he get up. It smells it again. It smells terrible. Why did he do that to me? And the third day he did that. Every day he did that. What do you think about this person? I don't know. Do you want to be angry? Do you want to be angry? Do you want to be angry? He'll go for revenge. Revenge. Yes. Yeah, but what I mean is, what do you think about this person who keeps smelling every day? Yeah, it, it could be. I, what I want to say is, this person is foolish, right? Is he foolish? Yes. Do you want to? If you got money, but let me tell you, this tongue represents the negative words of people. This negative words got unto us. Many people keep thinking about this negative words. And then they get angry every day. They get unhappy every day. And they cry every day. Will they have the joy of the Lord? Hello? 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 Uh, yeah, but I'll finish this. I'll finish this point. This is very important. The point is, don't eat garbage. When people mistreat us, is it wise to continue to think about what you said? Now, some people, they will tell the friends. Oh, my wife said this to me. My husband said this to me. My husband's not next to me. I'm happy every day. I'm happy because he's so like that. Have you met people like that? What they're doing is they eat the garbage. 
and they suffer every day. Na kila kuitoa poleo wanaendelea kuishi maisha ya majuzi na masikitiko. What I want to say. Nachotaka kusema ni hiki. If your family members are not nice to you. Kama wana familia wako na jamii yako sio wazuri kwako. You say it is their problem. Sema ni tatizo lao. If I've done anything wrong I'll ask him to forgive. Kama umeofanyia kitu chochote kibaya waombe unenda ukaombe msamaha. But if it's not my fault. Lakini kama sio tatizo lako. I don't have to be. Wala hata uhitaji kuwazia kuchafu kuchafu. But many people think I get angry. Lakini watu wengi utamubaki kuwa katika hasira. I'm paying back. Na hasira wanataka kulipiza. It's like you are not nice to me I'm going to fight. Oh no, nataka kunidunga ngumu. So they say what when you are And they think that way. Wala fikiri kwa njia hiyo ndio kutatiwa tatizo. Kama watapata actually when we get angry. Lakini tunapokuwa tumechukia. We won't live a happy life. Hatutaishi maisha ya furaha. We won't be able to follow God's perfect. Hatutaweza kufuata mpango wa kinabii ya maisha yetu. So if you want to serve God. Ukitaka kumtumikia Mungu asubuhi ya leo. If you want to follow God's perfect plan. Ukitaka kufuata hatima ya mungu ya kinabii juu yako. One important thing is learn how not to be affected by Jambo la kwanza la muhimu, jifunze jinsi gani hautaathiriwa na maneno machafu ya watu. Believe that all people are sinners. Amini kwamba watu wote ni watenda zambi. People you know from time to time they'll say negative words. Watu nyakati hadi nyakati watakusema tu vibaya. And even ourselves we say negative words to ourselves. Hata wakati mwingine wewe mwenyewe unaweza kujinenea maneno machafu. Amen. We'll say oh I cannot do it. Ukaona kwamba unajidharau tu kwamba mimi haiziwezi bwana. We'll say I'm unhappy. Kwamba mimi sina furaha. And no one treats me nicely. Kwamba kwa nini hao watu hakuna anayeni samini? I'm useless. Mimi wana mimi sio wa thamani. Is this garbage? Huo ni uchafu? But many people eat that from themselves. Some people are like that all the time. What way? What are you? As I wrote, I'm useless. Yani sifai. I'm not anything. I'm foolish. Unakula uchafu inpumbavu. They eat that all the time. Inifala. Yani maneno machafu machafu. Now you might say, well. Okay, I don't want to eat garbage. Na leo unaweza ukasema hakika sitaki na tena uchafu. People put the garbage in my mouth. Lakini watu waweke wanaoweka uchafu ndani yako. People yell at me. Watu wanaendea kukunenea na kusema mabaya juu yako. They yell at me. Wanapokunenea mabaya. What can I do? Naweza kufanya nini? Let me tell you. Ngoja nikwambie mwanangu. In Chinese Kung Fu. Kule China katika mambo ya huha. There is a way that they call. Kuna njia wanayosema. For instance, kwa mfano. Your hope Oh, and then you beat me. You beat me, yeah. And instead of taking it, I would, I would do this. I would do this. I would do this. Watch, watch. You hit me, and then I will let go. Pull like that. You understand what I mean? No. Try again. Try again. And do that. Then he will hit me, right? You understand this? Yes. When someone hits you, I won't take it. I will just let it go Amen. You beat it. Push you away. Hallelujah. So when someone says something negative to me, I say in my heart, what he said is not true. I don't have to take it. He said I'm foolish. It doesn't matter. He said I'm useless. God says I'm useless. I don't have to be affected by it. Amen. To feel unfair. Because God will pay me back. When I keep the joy of the Lord, God will pay me back. Let me tell you, this is very simple. It's whether you are willing to do it. At this point, can you remember some of the things your family members said to you? Wakati huu sasa unaweza kukumbuka maneno machafu 
ambao watu wa karibu na wewe jamaa zako au watumishi wa 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 umini walisema juu yako mabaya can you say it doesn't matter wewe sema hayo wala mimi sio it doesn't kill me yani hayataniua maneno yao it won't harm me yabora hayataniumiza i don't have to think about it mimi wala sielewi kufikiria i don't have to be angry sihitaji kuwa na hasira juu yao and i want to tell you this nataka nikwambie ni mwana Mungu throughout the day katika siku nzima when you think of someone unapokuona unafikiria kuhusu mtu fulani imidi apply this teaching unapokuona tumia mafundisho ya leo let me tell you ngoja nikwambie when i'm walking anapokuwa anatembea when i'm praying anapokuwa anaomba when i'm doing other things anapokuwa anafanya kitu chochote sometimes i will think of someone who is wakati mwingine anaweza kufikiria mtu aliyewahi kumuudhi imidi i will take care of that pale tayari anaanza kuishughulikia. And I said this person hurt me. Anasema huyu mtu aliumiza kweli because he has been hurt by many people. Kwa sababu na yeye aliumizwa. Amen. Actually he has suffered. Yeye yeah, ana matatizo. I can have compassion on the person. Mimi nahitaji nimsamehe. I can bless him. Nahitaji nimbariki. I can forgive him. Nataka nimsamehe. I don't have to be hurt by him. Sihitaji kuumizwa na yeye. I can rejoice in the Lord. Na mimi nyakati hiyo naanza kufanya kusema haleluya. Bwana ni mwema. That way you can keep the joy of the Lord. Kwa njia hiyo utaendelea kuweka upendo wa Mungu. That way you won't be affected by. Kwa njia hiyo hautaathiriwa na maneno ya watu. Let me tell you. Ngoja nikwambie mwana Mungu. This simple this teaching is simple. Yaani fundisho hili ni jepesi sana. But you can if you can apply it. Kama unaweza kulitumia katika huruma. You are very wise. Wewe utakuwa mtu au mtumishi wa hekima. Amen. Amen. Do you think you can apply it? Unafikiri unaweza kutumia mafundisho haya? Can you turn off all this negative words? Ili uondoe maneno yote asi waliosema juu yako. Sometimes it is harder to Wakati mwingine wana Mungu ni vigumu to handle problems from your close family members. Uweza kukabiliana na changamoto za watu walio karibu na wewe. Like your husband or your wife. Kama mme wako au mke wako. Or your children. Au hata watoto wako. It's hardest. Ni vigumu kwa kweli jamii. But if you can have victory, lakini kama ukitaka kuwa mshindi, and be nice to them, na ukawa mtu kwao, and smile with them, unataba unatabasamia, and do good things to them. Wala pokunelea mabaya, wewe wafanyie watendee tu mema. You can change the situation. Utaona wale watu wanabadilika kutoka ubaya kwenda uzuri. Amen. Amen. Now, do you have any question? Aya, kuna mtu yeyote aliye na swali kwa mafundisho haya? Yeah, yeah, there's a question about people who are living with me around but they hate me i don't hate them what can i do uh, who are these people who hit you they are uh, in, in, in a village where i'm living for instance oh, okay. i'm living with the people and they, they who, are hating, who are hating me naturally do, but, hate I, you but, or hate but you? i don't hate them hate you or hit you hate hate, hate, hate. hate. okay okay they speak bad words to him okay okay they become a very bad, a very big burden to me okay. i don't hate them now what can i do in order to make them happy with me okay let me tell you there are a few things that you can do okay 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 unakuwa na watu wao kila wanapofungua kinywa chao wanatoa tu uchafu kusema wewe kila unachokitenda wanaona akifai maongeo yao na mawazo yao wacha kuona wewe ni mtu hasi sasa anasema watu kama hao anaweza kafanyaje wanaiswa sifu Aleluya. Okay, the first thing we need to handle is to handle our hearts. Kitu cha kwanza ukikutana na mambo hayo lazima uweze kushughulika na moyo wako kwanza. Discern that these are garbage. Kubali kwamba utambue kwamba huo ni uchafu. What they said is garbage. Kwamba maneno wanayosema au matendo yao ni uchafu. God says I'm important. Mungu alisema wewe ni muhimu. I don't have to be affected. Wala sihitaji kuathiriwa na maneno yao. So I keep my joy. Utaendelea kutunza furaha ya amani yangu. And the second thing, jambo la pili la kufanya katika usuluishi. How I can be nice to them. Jinsi gani unaweza kuwa mzuri kwao. Now for each person it could be different. Kila mmoja kuna kwa na tofauti. For some people you walk up to them and you try to be nice. Wakati mwingine wengine wanaweza kwenda kuwaendea na wakajaribu kuwa kutengeneza mahusiano nao ya mazuri. Now some people will accept it and then Watu wengine wanaweza kukubali lakini wengine hakuna watakatana. But some people won't accept it. Yaani wengine wala hawataki hata kukuona na kukusikia. Some people when you are nice to them. Watu wengine ukawa mzuri kwao. They will say what are you trying to do? Watasema huyu anajaribu kufanya nini? 
So some people they, you know, they uh, the reaction could be different. Watu wengine mwitikio wao utakuwa ni tofauti. But for me, I have the mentality I want to bless them. Lakini yeye anakuwa na wazo kwamba lengo langu ni kupata kuabariki. Amen. And then the third thing. Jambo la tatu. How to build up the relationship? Uweze kujua jinsi ya kuweza kujenga mahusiano mapya tena. Now for some people it is possible. Watu wengine ni for some people it's possible. You're nice to them. You give them some gifts. You say kind words to them. They might change a little bit. They might change a little bit. Now then you're successful. But some people won't change. What I want to say is we, can, we cannot be friends with everyone in the world. We can try to be friends. But they might not want to be friends. I can try. But if they don't want to be friends, it's okay. I won't die. And they won't hurt me. Now, if they want to beat me up, beat me up, then I have to find ways to protect myself. And ask God to protect me. But not everyone will become a So there are three parts. First, I don't want to be affected. I want to have joy. Second, I want to bless them. I want to be nice to them. When possible, I'll give them some gifts. Do anything nice thing to them. And the third part, to make friends, if possible. If not possible, don't blame, don't blame ourselves. I have done my part already. Now this also applies to your family members. Some of your family members are trying to make friends with them. Some of them will change. Some of them might take a long time. Some of them might not change. Uh, this last two days I heard a woman said the husband mistreat her and, and you know and did now I know that there are husbands like that all over the world. Yeah, try to be nice to the husband. But sometimes the husband may not change. Then we have to learn to turn around and then say, God loves me, I can enjoy the Lord. And not to be continue to be affected by the husband. And but if possible, turn back to help the relationship to build up. Very often it happens like this. The spouse is not nice to the person. And this Christian will also be not nice to him. He might have looks, angry looks. He might yell back. And they always say, he's wrong. But we don't see we are wrong also. So we need to change our behavior. Amen. Overcoming wickedness with goodness is victory. When he's not nice to me, I'm still nice to him, that is victory. Now, let me tell you, you have to be intentionally uh, carrying this out to follow these teachings. You have to do it intentionally. Lazima uwe tayari, uweke utayari, kutumia mafundisho haya. 
And this is a very important teaching. I thank God for this wonderful teaching that he has given me. And I hope you will apply it. Amen. Okay. We'll have a prayer now. Is that okay? Stand up. Thank you, Jesus. Asante, Jesus. While we were sinners, you were not angry with us, but you died for us, and you came to seek us, and you give us salvation, and you turn us back to him. When we mistreated you, you were nice to us. Thank you, Jesus. Because you have been nice to us all the time. Because you understand that we are sinners. Therefore, we will not turn to you automatically. We need you to work in our life to draw us to you. We thank you for your love. We want to follow you. O oh Lord Jesus, oh, Bwana Yesu. many of us have been hurt by people. And very often we do not know how to handle that. And very often we got angry. And we lose our joy. Please forgive our sins. And wash us clean with the blood of Jesus. Lord Jesus, have mercy us. Help us to clear to our feelings. You know. Now at this point, some of us might have some hurt feelings. We can say to Jesus, I've been hurt. We can say to Jesus, I've been hurt. I feel unhappy. I'm sad. Please take away my sad feelings. Help me realize that you love me. You have a wonderful life. It doesn't matter what people do to you. We can be healed. Oh Lord Jesus, set us free. Give us peace and joy. Heal our heart. Take away our burden. Take away our sad feelings. And when we think of the people who hurt us, these people have been hurt by others. So the life is miserable. We want to have compassion for them and forgive them and want to bless them. Oh Lord Jesus, help us to let go of the hatred. To put down our hatred and put down our anger. Oh, set us free, Lord Jesus. Give us peace and joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can rejoice in the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can rejoice in the Lord. We can relax in the Lord. We can enjoy God. We can enjoy God. Asante Yesu. Umetueka uru sasa. Asante Yesu. Umetueka uru wana. Hallelujah. Now you can blow out the burdens in your heart. Unaweza sasa kumimina. Puliza. Mizigo zote nani yako. Puliza, puliza, puliza. Mizigo zote mawazo yote mabaya. Yatoe nani ya moyo wako. Wakati kila moja moja utafaka ni mambo mabaya. Uyo nyeriwa na yo. Maneno machafu wali yose majui yako. Sasa neta kaya toe nani ya moyo wako. Roza kuto samezi. Zizo pachiku wa nani yako. 
roza mawazo mabaya kukatisha tamaa walio sema utakufa walio kusota vidole kuliza toa 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 maneno hayo sasa toa maneno hayo twende mbele za Bwana nenda mbele za Bwana sasa kataa 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 kanusha kanusha maneno hayo kwamba ni maneno yao walio sema wewe ufai walio sema wewe ni mchafu walio sema wewe ni mnyonge walio sema wewe ni mbaya kwanza sasa sema Bwana kawoni uchafu baba utasitakula uchafu wao kwa uchafu waliosema juu yako usikufate tena mchana wa leo bali neema mbugu ikawe juu yako neema mbugu ikapate kuonekana sasa uite bwana mchana wa leo akapate kusema na wewe akapate kukugusa kwa mguzo wa kipekee akapate kufungua moyo wako akasafisha nuru yako nuru yako ikapate kuingia ndani yako maneno yao sio maneno ya mungu mpango wa mungu ndio ufanikiwe mpango wa mungu ndio ubarikiwe Mpango wa Mungu ni wewe uinuliwe kwa jina la Yesu. Kwa jina la Yesu. Haleluya. Haleluya. Set us free, Lord. Fanye tuwe huru sasa Bwana. Give us peace and joy. Tupe amani na furaha Bwana. So we can enjoy life. Ili tupate kufurahia maisha uliyotupapa duniani. So we can enjoy life. Ili tufurahie maisha. So we can go higher in the plan of God. Ili tuinuke vya maombi. In Jesus name we pray. Katika jina la Yesu kila mmoja aseme amen. Amen. So try to do that every day. Fanya maneno haya kila kuitwa kwa leo. Try to apply this teaching in your daily life. Hadi fundishwe hiyo uro isikia leo mwana Mungu endelea kulitumia katika familia. Katika familia na hata katika huduma. You have to apply it intentionally. Uweze kulitumia. When someone yells at you. Mtu anapokukashifa kukuzarau. Immediately take care of that. Haraka wala sifungie kausia weke kinywani mwako acha yapite ya hili. Okay, we have a short break. Tunakuwa na mapumziko kidogo. Hallelujah. Dakika 5.